Fun fact! There are about 4,400 different types of known aphids. Aphids are also called plant lice and are among the most destructive insect pests in temperate regions. Hey everyone, have another knife review for you today. Uh, in this video we're going to be taking a look at this Benchmade aphid. I put the uh, knife specifications uh, in the shot just before this, uh, but as we go through the review, we will uh, say those again and talk about the knife. All right. <clears throat> so first off, I want to mention that uh, this Benchmade aphid was previously in Benchmade's red class, as you can see by the box here. Uh, but for 2010, the red class has been discontinued. Uh, so any knives that were in that uh, in the red class have either been discontinued altogether from production or moved up to the blue class. Uh, for the aphid, uh, it has been moved up to the blue class. Uh, nothing has been changed, no blade steel differences, uh, just a simple move, uh, a step up in the class. Um, but uh, I was at my local knife shop and I had the opportunity to check out uh, both knives, uh, one from the red class, which is right here, and one from the blue class. After comparing the two, uh, there were no significant differences, uh, and I actually uh, preferred uh, the red class here over the blue class, and I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys the Red Class box and that this is a first production uh, model, 74 out of 1,000. Alright, so I'll put that box aside. Alright. So the Benchmade Aphid for me is a small EDC, something I'm going to carry in my front right pocket uh, and pull out to do any simple uh, tasks I need to do. Open letters, open small packages, um, anything for daily use. All right, but uh, the Benchmade Aphid is, is one of those knives that I will pair with a larger uh, EDC blade, um, depending on the day, it depends what that EDC blade will be. But this is not going to be the only thing I'm going to have on my person. Uh, that's because the blade length is comes in at 2.38 inches. Um, so it's not that large, um, but, you know, it's something that if you take out of your pocket, it's not going to scare anybody around you. Alright, the overall length is 5.63 inches long. Okay. So, as you can see here, uh, it has, uh, the handle scales here are Valox, uh, which is what the uh, Benchmade Barrage uses um, as its handle scales. Uh, just a, you know, FRN type of scale, um, but Benchmade calls it Valox. Uh, it's okay. There's um, not really any uh, texturing on it other than these, this ribbing um, cutouts here. That's on both sides. Okay. The pocket clip, it's a nice small little pocket clip. Uh, it doesn't allow too much to, to stick out of your pocket when you're carrying it. And it, it is uh, reversible so you can do it left hand or right hand side, but only tip down. Okay, let me bring you guys in close here and just give you a quick uh, overview of the knife. See it stamped on the blade there, 74 of 1000, first production. Alright, the first thing I noticed when I compared this aphid to its counterpart in the blue class was that the tolerances were much better, at least on the model that I was comparing it to from the blue class. Um, the blade play, side to side and up and down, was non-existent, there was none. And the, uh, the overall fit and finish looked exactly the same. So the reason I opted for this red class version is because it was a first production run. Um, you know, since the red class is discontinued, in my mind it's somewhat of a collectible, so that's why I opted for it. Uh, hopefully um, that blue class version, you know, was just, you know, the one out of a thousand that Benchmade got, got wrong and everything else is fine. Um, so moving up to the blue class, hopefully, uh, isn't a problem. Alright, as for the, uh, the deployment, it's nice and fast. It uses the optimizer system, which basically is this uh, metal torsion bar uh, on, in the spine of the blade here that uh, pushes on the back of the tang 
once it gets to a 30 degree mark and then assist the blade the rest of the way. Okay, I'll... So you can see a torsion bar down there. All right, the cool thing about this uh, optimizer system is you can make it either manual or assisted depending on what you want to do. Simply uh, by t removing these screws here, you can pull out the torsion bar, put the screws back in, and then you have a manual knife. All right, so it's pretty cool that they give you that option um, and that that, that uh, optimizer system allows you to do that. All right, now with that said, since this is such a small knife and the design of the handle um, the way it is, I, I, I kind of do have to adjust my grip, uh, bring my hands down a little bit, spread my fingers like that in order to deploy, deploy the blade. A couple times I've had an issue when I'm pulling this out of my pocket, I've had to really adjust my grip in order to, to get that blade out. So changing it to a manual knife for me uh, wouldn't be preferable. I'm going to keep it assisted simply because it's easy and quick to get out. If I change it to manual, I'd have um, a lot more difficulty getting out than I do now, and that wouldn't be wouldn't be ideal for me. But I do like that option. All right, thumb studs are nice. They are uh, flush pretty much to the uh, handle scales here, which a adds to that uh, difficulty of opening. But once you learn how the knife is set up and the proper way to orient your uh, fingers, um, you get the hang of it and uh, Getting it out isn't an issue. Okay, you do have an adjustable pivot, but like I said, from the factory and after uh, let's see, two and a half weeks of EDC use, no um, loosening of that pivot. So for a red class knife, I am very very uh, impressed with it, and uh, I do like it quite a bit. All right, the blade steel is 440C, so. It's, uh, I mean, what you'd expect from a red class knife, but honestly, it's uh, pretty decent for what you're paying for it. So I haven't, don't have any complaints. Sharpness from the factory was good. Uh, let's see what it's like after some use. So it's still pretty decent. Could be sharpened up a little, um, but I really can't complain. All right, it is a liner lock. All right. Locking the locking system, like like I said, is is decent and uh, it locks up nice. I would like to see that liner protrude slightly. Um, it is kind of difficult to get that liner closed um, since it is flush with the handle. If that liner just protruded a tiny bit, um, it would help in closing the knife. I want to show you guys the difference in jimping here or with the Benjamin aphid. All right, you can see the jimping here. If I move it out a little bit. All right, the metal portion of the liner all right, actually sticks up a tiny bit farther than the uh, Valox portion of the handle. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera here. And it does that for on the bottom here as well. All right. So the jimping on this aphid is actually quite effective, and I do like it um, compared to, say, my Benchmade Griptilian here, which the jimping, at least the metal portion, is actually recessed and down farther than the uh, FRN scales on this, which to me makes that jimping obsolete and non-existent. Um, and so I don't really think that the Benchmade got that jimping right, I mean, on the Griptilian at least. So I do like the jimping on this aphid. And uh, that's another port, another part that helps uh, keep it in your hand and, and secure. All right. So overall, um, impressed with this red class knife. I, I usually uh, try to stay away from them and, and, and don't like them. But once I uh, saw that Benchmade's getting rid of it for uh, 2010, um, and I saw this knife, I thought I might just try it out and see see how I like it. So uh, the Benchmade um, Aphid. Great knife. If you're interested, it is now in the blue class, so uh, go uh, check one out. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.